Hi there, welcome back to another exciting episode where we explore the wonders of our incredible planet. Today, we're tackling a topic that's been making headlines around the world, climate change. First things first, let's talk about the main character in this story, the sun. This giant, glowing orb of gas is the primary energy source for our planet. It's like a cosmic power plant that keeps Earth running day and night. But here's the interesting part, not all of the sunlight that reaches us stays here. Some of it is reflected back into space, while the rest is absorbed by the surface and the atmosphere. This absorbed energy is then re-emitted as heat, and that's where the plot thickens. You see, Earth has this incredible blanket called the atmosphere, which is filled with special gases known as greenhouse gases. These include water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide. Now, imagine these gases as a cozy sweater that wraps around our planet. They trap heat and keep Earth warm and snug. In fact, without them, our world would be a frigid, inhospitable place, and life as we know it wouldn't exist. It's like a game of cosmic catch, the atmosphere catches the heat and throws it back down to the surface, maintaining a delicate balance that allows us to thrive. But here's where things start to get a little complicated. Over the past few centuries, human activities have been adding extra greenhouse gases to the atmosphere, particularly carbon dioxide. It's like we've been knitting an extra thick sweater for Earth, and now it's starting to feel a bit too warm for comfort. Since the Industrial Revolution kicked off, atmospheric CO2 levels have shot up by over 40%. That's like upgrading from a light, breathable cotton sweater to a heavy, itchy wool one. Scientists have been playing detective, trying to unravel the mystery of where all this extra CO2 is coming from. They've analyzed air bubbles trapped in ancient ice cores and examined carbon isotopes in the modern atmosphere. The evidence they've gathered points to a clear culprit, human activities, especially the burning of fossil fuels. It's like we've been leaving a trail of carbon fingerprints all over the crime scene, and the atmosphere is the ultimate witness. Now, you might be thinking, okay, so the planet is getting a little warmer. What's the big deal? Well, the impacts of this warming trend are far more significant than you might imagine. Climate records show that global temperatures have been rising steadily over the past century. Since 1900, the average surface air temperature has increased by about 1 degree Celsius 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit. That might not sound like much, but in the grand scheme of things, it's a pretty big deal. It's like the difference between a refreshing glass of iced tea and a piping hot cup of coffee. The consequences of this warming trend are rippling across the planet. Arctic sea ice is vanishing faster than a tray of cookies at a kid's party. The ocean is absorbing extra heat and CO2, causing it to expand and become more acidic, like a giant, fizzy drink. Sea levels are rising, glaciers are melting, and plant and animal species are playing a game of hopscotch, shifting their ranges to keep up with the changing climate. It's like a global-scale game of musical chairs, except the stakes are much higher than just finding a seat when the music stops. Climate change isn't just about rising temperatures. It's a complex tapestry of interactions and feedbacks that shape our planet's climate system. For instance, as the atmosphere warms up, it can hold more water vapor, which is itself a potent greenhouse gas. This leads to even more warming, creating a self-reinforcing cycle that's hard to break. It's like a game of climate dominoes, where one small change can trigger a cascade of effects that ripple through the entire system. Predicting exactly how the climate will change in the future is a bit like trying to guess the winning lottery numbers. There are many variables at play, including how much CO2 will emit, how the climate system will respond, and the influence of natural variability. However, one thing is crystal clear, if we don't take action to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions, Earth will continue to warm, and the consequences could be catastrophic. It's like driving a car with a faulty brake system, the longer we wait to fix the problem, the harder it becomes to avoid a crash. So, what can we do to put the brakes on climate change? Well, the first step is to educate ourselves about the science behind it. Understanding how our planet's climate works is like having a map and compass for navigating this complex issue. We can also make changes in our daily lives to reduce our carbon footprint, like using renewable energy, driving less, and adopting a more plant-based diet. Every little bit helps, and when we all work together, those small actions can add up to a big impact. But perhaps the most crucial piece of the puzzle is global cooperation. 
Climate change doesn't care about borders or political affiliations. It's a problem that affects every single one of us, and it's going to take a united effort to tackle it head on. It's like a massive group project, except instead of a grade, the future of our planet hangs in the balance. We need to put aside our differences, roll up our sleeves, and work together to find solutions that benefit everyone. So there you have it, the science of climate change in a nutshell. It's a complex and multifaceted issue, but understanding the basics is the first step towards making a difference. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the science of climate change. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Plaintick for more fascinating content about our incredible planet.